Hello everyone. Today I'm working on these wheels for my Hot Wheels. I just got them, uh, so I'm really excited to try them on. So I'll just pull it out of the box for you. So these are really high quality. Uh, you can see the brake calipers on them. That is why I wanted them. Because it's a detail that I'm not used to for Hot Wheels to see the brake calipers. Just organizing my stuff there. See if I can bring this up close. You see there's a brake caliper. And that is really neat. Also uh, the barrel here is actual aluminum. And then the center is a photo etched part. So I'm gonna, I found a car I wanted to put the meat on. So we're going to work on this Civic Type R. It's one of the inexpensive uh, Hot Wheels, which you can get for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. But the Civic Type R is actually really cool. I got to drive one, and I liked it. So the Type R is not the fastest car I've ever driven, but it was really enjoyable because it felt so stable. So I had it in R mode and uh, it felt really stable and it felt like that car would actually last forever which is one of the things that honda is going for so this actually out of the box this hot wheels looks pretty cool we're just going to improve it with some new wheels so i'm just going to drill those rivets here and then i'll be back so this is what you get when you open up the hot wheels You get the base, the interior, and the windows. Now, believe it or not, before I put it back, I'm gonna clean the windows from the inside. Another interesting fact that I found out when I was driving the car is it's got a huge spoiler. And when you're driving the car, you actually don't see it at all. It does not obstruct your vision, which is interesting for such a big, easy to define spoiler so these wheels are actually pretty decent but I just want to get to that next level I really like those alloy wheels so um, to remove the original wheels you don't have to work that hard they just come out I'm just removing the pins and these, I'm not throwing them out. I'm going to use them on another car for sure. You can't get enough of these uh, wheels. They have a million uses. So with the kit, you get the four wheels. And you get the two axles. So I'm going to see how my axles fit in there. I may have to make them bigger longer or shorter let's just see how they fit in the best of worlds uh, it would be just a direct fit and that's it oh that looks pretty good let's see what it looks like with the wheels on so if anything it might be just a little bit too long i'm gonna see because uh, when you're doing that you have to be very mindful of the stance of the car. If your stance is off, the car just won't look right. So that is definitely a factor. Now I've done absolutely nothing. I just let the car drop on the wheels and uh, it just feels pretty good. They roll. So this is how they come out from Hot Wheels. And as far as the stance goes, it looks right to me. You don't want your wheels to be too inside or too outside, but uh, they, seems to, they seem to be just right, actually. I can't complain too much. So what I'm going to do is just spread the difference between the front and the back between the side, between each sides. Okay, you don't want them to be too inside. Let me try to get the correct light on this. 
So if the wheels are too inside, they don't look right. And if they're too outside, they don't look right either. Now me, I'm not a big fan of camber. And I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of uh, resto mods. So I would never put these wheels on a muscle car from the 60s. I would never do it. But for this car, it definitely looks right on it. So this particular brand of wheels allows you to keep the caliper stationary while the wheel turns. So as I, as I glue my wheels to the axle, I'm going to be mindful that each caliper is on the correct side. So as I was doing this, my tire fell out. That happens to you. It's no big deal. Just put it right back on there. And that's good as good. There. You can even have it, uh, if you want to stance your car and put extra camber, you can even run it like that if you want. But me, I'd rather have a more stock feeling to the car. So as I glued my axles together, I made sure that the caliper would be facing the same same direction like that and I'm going to include a picture of the regular type R so you can see uh, which way the calipers ought to be pointing so I'm going to be gluing them to the top of the uh, the interior and also from the bottom and I'm gonna give them the proper uh, angles for the caliper this is my first time having calipers in 164 scale even some of the 118 scale cars I have don't really show this you know I don't really like resto mods I like to have my muscle cars from the 60s and early 70s I like to have those with 15 inch wheels, especially uh, Mopars with dog dishes. That is my favorite. So, um, although I don't understand resto mods, you know, instead of resto modding, you know, a 69 Corvette, LS swapping it, they already did come with four wheel disc brakes from the factory. So instead of um, LS swapping it, I'd much rather uh, just buy a C5 or a C6, save my money. C6 Corvette is such a nice car. So as the glue sets, I'm going to make sure I got the proper angle for my calipers. So I'm going to let this uh, set for a minute. All that's left to do is put my vase back. And I'm taking my time, but it should go right in nice and easy. And, uh, we're pretty much done. So now I've got exactly what I wanted. My wheels can turn, but the calipers stay there. So this is a very neat, uh, very neat swap. I'm very happy with the results. That's exactly what I wanted. Although, uh, when you're doing um, a wheel swap like that, you gotta be careful. My kit, it costs about uh, 10 bucks. And I bought this car, um, Japan Historics, from uh, Walmart the other day. So 10 bucks for the kit, swap out the car. And then seven bucks for this car, complete with some really nice wheels already. So, uh, and look at this paint job, it's a premium car. Although you cannot see any calipers on this one, still very neat little car. I also bought this uh, Copo Camaro. It too is a premium car with some really nice wheels. 
I wish I had this car in real life. Just set my camera focus on it. It's got some really good wheels. You do not need to swap these. And the paint job is really fun. And like I said, me, I'm not into resto mods. Why would you put an LS uh, in a 69 Camaro? Why don't you go out and buy this? And all you gotta do is enjoy it. So that's it for this uh, wheel swap video. See you soon.